Hello everyone and welcome to the special Town Hall 8 Valkyrie guide. That's gonna be a complete guide and I'm gonna give you all the tips on how to do those kinds of attacks. So why do you want to use Valkyries in Town Hall 8? First of all, it's one of the most powerful attacks in Town Hall 8. Second, it's one of the most powerful attacks in Town Hall 9 and this is gonna be a good practice for the future when you're gonna upgrade to Town Hall 9. There are three different attacks that you can use with Valkyries. The first one is Gova Ho with back and hogs the second one is gova low with back and balloons and the third one is gova holo where you use back and hogs and balloons there are three different spell combinations as well first one is four earthquake spells two poison spells and one heal spell the second one is four earthquake spells and two heal spells you're not using any poison over here and the third one is two poison spells and three heal spells basically there's a fourth one where you're not using any poison spells, but I don't see any other spells that you can bring since you, you cannot bring a fourth heal spell in Town Hall 8. A small tip about upgrading, make sure that you're upgrading your Valks, your Golem, your Balloons, your Hogs, and any spells that you're using. That's going to give you a huge advantage when attacking other Town Hall 8s. The main idea of the attack is going to be getting the Valks and the Kill Squad into the core, destroying the whole core, taking attention from the outer ring defenses and then the back end troops will destroy the outer ring so let's go over a bit about the spells the earthquake spell will be used to get into the core and open as many compartments as possible so the valves can go in and destroy all the buildings over there if the base got three layers then you're gonna need wall breakers to get through the first layer make sure that you're not using the earthquake spells on the first layer that's just a waste of spells and you're gonna have troubles getting into the core also a small tip about wall breakers make sure you pay attention to splash damage with towers and mortars make sure the timing is fine when you're releasing them otherwise you might mess up your attack the goal of the poison spell of course is to get rid of the clan castle and it is very effective especially when there's a dragon in the clan castle you want to use two poison spells one is going to be max from the clan castle and this is going to allow you to destroy the dragon effectively the main goal of the heal spell is using it on the valks in the core notice in the photo that it was used a bit too low you should drop it in the core make sure you follow the valks where they go and make sure that you drop the heal spell right on them if you're using more than one heal spell the second one is going to be used on the back end troops basically it's usually the hogs the next question we want to ask ourselves is which back end troops we want to use is it hogs is it balloons maybe both so if all the air defenses are in the core and they're going to be destroyed by the kill squad and the valks you want to use balloons for the back end otherwise if you're not gonna destroy all of the air defenses in the core or you're not sure it's gonna happen maybe it's better using hogs in some cases you want to use both of them for example on this one you can see that the air sweeper is pointing on the right side so if you're not coming from the bottom and destroying that air sweeper you might want to use hogs from the right side do not use balloons into the air sweeper they're gonna die very very quick and you're gonna fail your attack also do not use back and hogs if there's there's a double giant bomb over there and you don't have a heal spell make sure that you think before you're doing the attack don't do it like a robot the next question you want to ask yourself is how many valks to bring and this is something that everyone asks so my tip is don't count the number of valks first of all count the number of back and troops that you need in this in this case for example notice that he's gonna need at least two hogs or two balloons whatever he's gonna use at those defenses so that's gonna make it something like at least 10 troops notice that there's a cannon in the upper part of the base so that's two more and a bit arch tower a bit more into the core so that's a bit more in this case notice that he brings 15 hogs to this attack on a general look usually you would need something between 10 and 15 back end troops and you're gonna be left with a space 
for about six to eight Valks. If you notice that in the base you're attacking, you need way too many back and troops. Maybe the base is not good enough for a Valk attack. Try using some other attack on it. The next question you want to ask yourself is from which side you want to start the attack. And this is going to depend on your back and troops. If you're using Hogs, start from a location where you can detonate as many bombs as possible and even take out the king if, if that's possible as well. If you're using balloons, you want to start from a location where you can take out the air sweeper as well. Make sure it doesn't endanger the main mission of taking out the air defense. The next question you want to ask yourself is whether you should lure the clan castle or not. So my answer is going to be yes. Be effective. Sometimes you can lure the clan castle with only a wall breaker. Sometimes you will need a giant or a hog. Make sure you use as less troops as possible. Always remember that some people are building very horrible bases and sometimes you're gonna be able to lure and also get a double giant bomb or something. If you feel that you really need a heal spell for the back end hogs as well, make sure that you're not using poison spell but getting the CC troops with your wizards. To do that, bring the CC troops to a safe location and then take them out with the wizard. Usually I think that four wizards are enough to take out a dragon and a balloon. If hogs are safe in the back end part, or if you're not good enough with the CC killing, you, you want to use poison spells and this is going to help you a lot in your attack. Just make sure that you practice that later so you can become an expert and do whatever is needed for a base. So what about my clan castle? What I recommend is bringing max Valkyries in your clan castle. You can be bring three of them and this is going to help you a lot. Level 4 Valks. If you're using a poison spell, make sure you bring a poison spell in the clan castle a max level as well. If you're not using a poison spell, bring an earthquake spell. It doesn't really matter which level is it, but better use a max one because it makes some damage to the buildings as well. So let's go over the attack basics and after that we're gonna see some attacks from this type. So first of all you want to lure the clan castle, second of all you want to kill the clan castle with the poisons or with the wizard. The next thing you want to do is if you're using earthquake spells you want to drop them and make sure that the way is clear for the Valks. The next thing you do is drop two golems. This is what I recommend bringing to this kind of attack. Make sure you drop the wizard one on each building for a white funnel. You gotta be careful with Valks. They're very dangerous and can start running around the base if you don't do the funneling in the right way. If wall breakers are needed to get through the first wall, make sure you drop them and watch splash fire. Once the Valks are in the core and you see that they're losing their health, make sure that you heal them. Once the outer ring defenses are shooting into the core, this is the time for you to use your back and troops. Make sure that you use that wisely. If an air defense is not down yet, make sure you're not sending balloons into that area. You can wait a few more seconds for that air defense to go down and this is going to give you much better chances of getting the three stars. Make sure you drop your back and troops in a surgical way about two to three hogs at each defense and usually two balloons at each defense. Usually with balloons you don't need to care that much about ground defenses. First of all, send your balloons at Arch Towers, at Wiz Towers, and at Teslas. So let's see some attacks. First of all, before we see those attacks, I want to warn you, some of the attacks are not totally perfect. In some of them, the people brought a Rage spell instead of a Heal spell. I really don't recommend doing that. Some of them didn't lure the Clan Castle. So those are things that I really don't recommend doing. You can try that. But in my opinion, you're going to have less chances to 3-star a base. And I've seen many fails with people who aren't doing it right. So I'm going to run the first attack at the regular speed. And on the next attack, we're going to run it in a bit faster mode. So we're going to see a lot of attacks in a shorter time. So first of all, he's dropped the earthquake spells. Then he lured a clan castle with a wall breaker and he's not using poison spell on this one. So he's bringing that dragon to the upper part of the base and then he's going to use a couple of archers to take it attention. And then wizards are going to be dropped and take out that dragon. 
so about four wizards are usually enough to take out a dragon and a balloon next golems are going in he's dropping wizards at each building make sure that you're bringing enough wizards if you're not using a poison spell wall breakers are getting through the first wall and notice how wide the funnel is all of the buildings are destroyed king is going in valks are going in as well in this specific attack he brought hawks in the clan castle and only four valkyries but as i said it really depends on your back and notice that on this one he got a lot of defenses in the outer ring and he's gonna need a lot of hawks to take them out and he decided that four valks are gonna be enough with the kill squad and this is exactly what he's doing so usually you're gonna use at least six valks but notice that in some cases you're gonna use only four of them in some cases you're gonna use eight of them notice that the heal spells are used on the valks and on the hogs and he's getting a very easy three star overkill and as you can see only cleanup is left i'm gonna make it faster so you can see it's a three star and we're gonna go to the next attack in a couple of seconds. Here goes the next attack. First of all, all earthquake spells are dropped in that place. Hog is luring the clan castle. He's bringing that clan castle troops to the left side with that archer. And in this case, no poison spell is going to be used. A couple of archers are dropped, a couple of wizards right behind them, and they're taking out that dragon very easily golems are in wall breakers getting through the first wall and now when the area is clear he's dropping the valks and the king they're all going into the core of the base he's using the king ability notice that he pops a couple of bombs and now using the heal spell on the valks so the, in this case he's using back and balloons and notice how he drops them nicely on pretty much all of the defenses over there and this way is getting a very very easy kill off the base and this is a very nice three star so there's a builder hut in the upper part of the base on the next one using a giant to lure the clan castle troops this time you can see that he's using poison spell i'm not sure if you can drop both poison spell together just in case if you didn't check it drop one after the other and two poison spells are gonna be enough to take out a max dragon just make sure that you're bringing a max poison spell in the clan castle golems are in a lot of wizards are dropped at all of the buildings as i said you gotta create a white funnel and now the valks are going in so he's dropping a rage spell over here and this is something that i definitely don't recommend doing usually but in some cases you can see that it works in some cases it's not gonna work i don't recommend it i would bring heal spells all the time it's gonna heal your valks and keep them alive for a longer time their dam the damage they're doing is just fine and they they're fast enough they don't need that rage spell and the next one earthquake spells are dropped in the lower part of the base so in this one he's gonna use back and hogs the dragon is being lured brought to the lower part of the base and he's gonna be taken out by wizards so notice that a giant has dropped to take the attention and now a couple of wizards are taking it out golems are going in from the bottom notice that he's gonna take out the king from that location very very easily wizards are getting those buildings he forgot two of those buildings and this is definitely a bit risky and you might fail your attack so definitely consider that this one was a bit of a fail and he was a bit lucky that the Valkyries went in and the second heal spell noticed that it's being used on the Hogs and this is gonna be another three stars so he also didn't release the Hogs in a surgical way and noticed that he lost the Hogs he should have dropped them in both parts and definitely had a bit of luck of getting that base two of the Valkyries are still alive and they're getting the rest of the building actually there are three of them and this is another three star so as i said not all of the attacks are perfect so make sure that you're listening to the beginning of the video to make the perfect attacks so two balloons were used on this one to lure a clan castle is using two poison spells to get rid of that dragon it takes a bit time so it's definitely good that i'm running those attacks in a faster speed golems are in from the right side notice that he uses one wizard 
on each building. He uses a lot of wall breakers and he's he is able to get through two walls and this way he saves the earthquake spells. So this is definitely not something that you can do in all bases, but notice that it is very easily done in some of the bases and this base is one example. So his skill squad are taking out all of the buildings in the core and he's sending the backhand balloons to get rid of all of those defenses that are left. Notice that the king and golems are still alive and they're taking the attention of that Tesla and the Wiz Tower and allowing those balloons to take out those buildings, those defenses very, very easily. So the next one is another earthquake attack using the earthquake, using a hog to lure the clan castle. No poison spells are used on this one as well. Using some archers to bring that dragon to the right side, notice that most Town Hall 8s are using dragons in, the, in their clan castle, so this is definitely something you should be prepared for when doing your attacks. So wizards are taking care of that dragon, golems are in, getting rid of that air sweeper as well, Valks are going in, three Valks are coming from the clan castle, king is in as well. Notice how he uses the heal spells in the core and once those defenses are focused on the core he starts sending those balloons. Notice that he sends some balloons first of all away from the air defense and now notice that that air defense shot down I think one of the balloons so timing was almost perfect and he's getting a total overkill on this base. The next one is gonna be another lure by a hog Poison spells are going to be used. This is a combination where you're using earthquake spells and poison spells. And he's bringing a rage spell. And again, as I said, this is something that I don't recommend when you're doing your attack. Bring a heal spell. It's much more effective than a rage spell. If someone told you to bring a rage spell, simply don't listen to him. This is a wrong idea. And I, I'm telling you, I'm visiting in many clans and I've seen a lot of fails because people are using rage spells and then their Valks are not surviving the attacks. It might work in some of the bases, but in some of the bases you're going to get a fail. So notice on this one that the Valks, I think that only few are left. Two of them are left with not a, a lot of health. And as I said, you guys are going to decide what you're going to use but this is my recommendation. I'm showing you that this works as well in some of the bases and in some of the bases it's not going to work. I, I definitely didn't record any fails for this video but it, it is definitely something that can happen more often unless you're using a heal spell. So again on this one lure the clay castle using some poison spell to take it out. Earthquake spells are gonna be used on this one as well. And they're gonna be dropped right, 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 right. Come on, where are the earthquake spells? Golems are going in first. Wizards are right behind them. And now here goes the earthquake spells. So he needs some wall breakers to get through the first wall. And now when the area is clear, he's sending the Valks in. King is sent. And you can see on this one why funneling is so important. And King ran away out of the base. He still managed getting the three star. The base is not max def defenses base, but it could be a bit of a trouble if it was max defenses and if those valks wouldn't be enough in the core. Usually they're gonna be enough even without the king, but you really wanna avoid such stuff. Make sure that you're dropping wizards on all of the buildings and make sure that they're taking them out. So again, clan castle is being lured. This is something that I recommend. For all of your attacks, it's much more effective when you're luring the clan castle. If you're not luring it, you might you might fail because dragon can kill the valks, dragon can kill the wizard, can kill the king. It's really dangerous not luring. So again, the area is clear. He's sending the valks, he's sending the king. Again, using a rage spell. It's not really needed, especially with those wiz towers over there. And now he's sending the backhand balloons from all of the sides they're going right behind the air sweeper that air sweeper is totally useless and this is definitely one of the reasons that he chose attacking from the upper part of the base so the next attack is gonna be again with earthquake spells and notice on this one that no wall breakers are needed to get into the core only earthquake spells this makes things 
even easier a lot of wizards are dropped no lure for the cc although it was a very easy lure and again as i said this is a dangerous thing i'm showing you attacks of different kinds he also spamming the balloons many of them are going to that tesla and wasting a lot of time so this is definitely not the kind of attack that i recommend doing but notice how powerful this attack is even if you're doing a lot of mistakes even if you're not doing it the right way and he definitely didn't do it the right way only one balloon is left and you you're still able to get a three star this is a very powerful attack and you should use that and the last attack that we're going to see is a Town Hall 8 attacking a Town Hall 9. It got no queen, but it got level 1 X bows, so that's definitely not a joke. Same goes, golems in, wizards in, valks in, king in, they're gonna destroy the core, he's gonna heal them, and back and hawks are gonna get rid of the rest. So make sure you share this video with any town hall 8 you know make sure you share it with your clan mates i want to say thanks to my patrons they are the ones who are responsible with their support on allowing me to make such guides and they're definitely the ones who are choosing which guides i'm gonna make so if you want to support the channel as well and allow me making more of those guides check out the description under the video for my patreon and I'm going to make more guides much faster and hopefully it's going to help you 3-starring any base that you're going to face, whether it's Town Hall 8, 9, 10 or 11. So hopefully you liked it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and of course share the video. We'll see each other in the next video. Bye bye.